and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. This time it's Stoke City vs Swansea City in the Skybet Championship. 7.45pm kickoff away at the Bet365 Stadium. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it then. Um, before we get into our part, we have got a Stoke fan on Harvey, um, who's been on our channel many times before, um, as you may or may not know. But um, yeah, he does some great Stoke content. So uh, before we get into our thoughts, we'll hand it over to him for his thoughts ahead of the game. Hello, Swansea at home. How do I think this one is going to go? Well, it's a game that we've done quite well at in the past couple of years. We did absolutely demolish you uh, last year. Uh, what a performance that was. But possibly one of the final good performances we had though last season which was a little bit of a shame we didn't follow that up with any momentum at all it sort of went downhill from there quite quickly the start of the season we've had it's been mixed um we've obviously had two wins we've had a draw and we've had a couple of defeats as well in terms of the game though i don't know what we're going to bring because we've just brought in alex neil he's set to take the sideline for the first time tomorrow night based off blackburn we played a back four for the first time uh, this season I mean, it looked really, really good. We had Morgan Fox at left back. We had Connor Taylor and Aidan Flint in at centre half. And we had Ben Wilmot deputising at right back. I'm going 2 0 Stoke. And goal scorers Sam Klukas and Aidan Flint. Uh, Sam Klukas is his cup final. He always seems to play amazing against you. And obviously, Aidan Flint with the Cardiff connection as well. Return to Joe Allen. I'll be looking forward to seeing him return to the Bet365. What a servant he was. Uh, I would have liked to have kept him on in the summer, but um, his wages were a little bit too high for our uh, financial situation, which is a little bit of a shame. But nevertheless, he was a great servant for us in some really difficult times. But uh, yeah, thank you for having me on. And hopefully we'll absolutely demolish you again tomorrow. Go on, Stoke. So massive thanks to Harvey for featuring our channel. Just some good Stoke City content. So there's a link down in the description if you want to subscribe to him. Right, so now onto our part then. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, um, yeah, obviously Stoke will be a really tough test. You know, we haven't got a very good record up at Stoke, especially away. Um, and, you know, as they say, Wednesday night in Stoke, that'll probably be the case. Um, obviously, you know, we do desperately need a win. We set, I think, 22nd in the league. So we're in the relegation zone, which isn't great. Our form isn't great either. Um, so we definitely need to win this game. Um, it's going to be a tough one, but anything less than a win, I would not take. I wouldn't take a draw. Um, you know, Stoke are a good side, but we sh we should be, you know, be able to pick up points in games like this. You know, it could be crucial. I know they do have some good players, and then it's going to be a tough game. But you know, Martin's on the ropes now. I did say I'd give Martin till the end of August, and it is now the end of August. So if we lose this, I'm going to be, you know, very much on the edge of Martin out. But um, yeah, what's your thoughts going into this game then? Um, considering our last year performances, it hasn't been that good. Um... I thought that performance um, against um, Borough on the weekend was shocking. I know we, gave, we did get a goal, but it was a penalty. So, um, and yeah, Stoke's a complete different challenge. You know, they beat us both home and away last season. They got a new manager, Alex Neal, from Sunderland as well. You know, that's a massive appointment for them. I don't know why he'd leave Sunderland, especially after the job he had there. I thought, he, I thought Sunderland had been incredible this season so far. So I don't really understand why he'd leave unless it was a money issue, maybe. But, you know, it's a great appointment for Stoke. And I think he will do really good for them. And... After recent performances, you know, Luton, obviously Borough on the weekend, Millwall before Luton, you know, it just wasn't, you know, we haven't won in uh, the last three games, so, and, you know, away from home, we're, you know, we're okay, but we're nothing special, so it's going to be a tough game, it's a really, a really decent Stoke side. Yeah, then now going on to the injury news then, so I'll start off by giving you the Stoke injury news, they've got one player out in Harry Suter with a ligament rupture, so obviously that's a big blow for them, because he's been a very good player for them the last few seasons, but um, yeah, Luke will give you the Swansea injury news anyway. Yeah, so it's the usual ones, um, obviously Ben Cabango has got a suspension, and um, the two injuries we've got is Joel Atabogia and Leo Walsh. Yeah, and then um, now moving on to the key players then, so starting off with Stoke, I'm going to go with uh, Liam Delap. Um, obviously, his dad, Rory Delap, used to play for Stoke. Obviously, uh, you know, well known for that infamous long throw. Um, I'm also going to go with Dwight Gale. Obviously, he's been around West Brom, Newcastle, so he's a very good player at this level. And then also go with Jacob Brown as well. But would you add anyone else? Um, I think I'd go for one of them. Lewis Baker. Um, I think he's a, a decent player there. I think he's done well for Stoke this season. And um, yeah, I think he's going to be a good player for them. So I'll see him. Yeah, and then uh, now moving on to the Swans key players then. So firstly, I'm going to go with Joel Perot. Um, you know, obviously he did score his first goal of the season. I know it was a penalty, but he really needed that to kick start. So go with Joel Perot for definite. I'd also go with Olivier Encham. 
Um, you know, on his day, he's one of the best players in the league, in my opinion. But, you know, he needs to showcase what he can do more more often. And at third, I'm going to go with Harry Darling. You know, um, obviously, it's shown we missed him a lot. I know defensively, even with him in the side, we haven't been great. But I still think he's a, one of our best defenders. And without him, you know, it did show against Middlesbrough that we did struggle. But would you add anyone else? Oh, yeah, that's good for a player that obviously Stoke City fans will know a lot about in Joe Allen. I think he adds that experience for us. Um, he didn't play particularly great against Middlesbrough, but I feel like he's still a really good asset to the squad. You know, he's probably the most experienced player on paper. So, and obviously Stoke City fans know what he's all about. So, I have to say him as well. Yeah, and then um, going on to the lineup then that I go with. So, in goal, I'm going to go with Andy Fisher. Back five of right wing back Matty Horanoa, left wing back Ryan Manning. Three centre backs: Kyle Norton, Harry Darling, and Nathan Wood. Got no choice really of any other um, back five, to be honest, with you, due to injuries and suspensions. Um, two midfield: Grimes and Joe Allen. In Cam, I am going to give Cameron Congreve another start. I think you know, although he did make a mistake, he's young. He's going to knock his confidence if you don't put him back into that side. So yeah, Congreve deserves another start. And I don't think he played that badly against Middlesbrough, bar giving the ball away, which led to the goal. Um, and then two up front, I'm going to go with Joel Pirro and Michael Obafemi. But would you add anyone else? Well, it's not would you add anyone else? What's your lineup then going into this game? To, to be honest, like I'll probably have to stick with the same lineup as you because our squad is quite weak and it's not. You know, we haven't got massive depth in a lot of positions, especially defensively, as you said. Uh, you know, a lot of injuries and suspensions there, so you know, I can't really put anyone else in their places. So I might stick with that whole team to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, now, lastly, then going on to the score predictions then. Although we need to win, um, I don't think we will win. Um, to be honest with you, I, I I can just I can't even see a draw. I can see another loss. You know, away at Stoke midweek. Um, I can't see us winning this. I'll be be really honest. So I'm going to say Stoke City two, Swansea City one. Um, I'm going to go with Jacob Brown to get a brace, and then for the Swans, then I'm going to go with Joel Perot. I think you know now that he scored, he can really kick on. But what's your score prediction? Um, I will go for I'm going to go for Stoke City three, Swansea City nil. Um, I know it's kind of a batter in there, and I'm not being quite positive, but in t- in terms of the squad, the way it's looking, you know, we haven't got a lot of depth in there, and the season we've been shit so far. So, yeah, three 0 Stoke, and I'll go for. I think Dwight Gale will get a goal, and I think Liam Delap will get a brace. Yeah, um, obviously, massive thanks for watching this. We will be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. Um, unfortunately, Luke will not be able to attend the game, but I will be making the trip up. Obviously, Luke will be featuring on the vlog, obviously like he did against Oxford and obviously like I did against Luton. So, yeah, even though we aren't both going, there will still be a vlog as usual. Um, so, yeah, obviously massive thanks for watching this and, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. Yeah, cheers.